Hey everybody out there, my name is Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel. So today we're talking about an iconic fighting game franchise that's celebrating 30 years of an awesome legacy with a whole bunch of different games that people have loved. If you grew up in the arcade scene, if you grew up playing a bunch of different fighting games on consoles, then you know the name Street Fighter. So without further ado, let's dive into this celebration of 30 years of street fighting of Hadoukens and Dragon Punches. This is the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is a gathering of every major Street Fighter game that was released in arcades, celebrating a 30-year legacy that laid the foundation of what would be the fighting game community and the competitive tournament scene. There are 12 games featured in this collection, featuring Street Fighter 1 and every arcade release version of Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha, and Street Fighter 3. These are the same games everyone has been playing for so many years, but it's hard to get tired of something that was so much fun to play, especially with other people. This collection is the easiest way to play these games in the most arcade-perfect form, with a few additions like online play to keep things fresh. While some of the games included are older and more obsolete versions compared to later releases, it's still very cool to have a meaty collection of these games to overview the entirety of the Street Fighter franchise. If you've never understood what the hype was behind the series, this is the best way to get a feel for it, and maybe even get caught up in it yourself. Now, the cool thing about this collection is that every single game that's included is considered arcade perfect. For those that don't know, arcade perfect means is that the actual arcade game is ported over nearly perfectly with all the bells and whistles that people knew growing up in those arcade scenes. It's actually transferred over to the consoles or whatever other platform that it is. Everything from, you know, the different special moves, from the different glitches and special secrets, and as well as also the different arcade endings and the difficulty settings have been transferred over one to one. But the cool thing about the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is that the games are so easy and quick to load as well as also to be able to transfer between the different ones that are included. There's over 12 different games including every iteration of Street Fighter 2, every iteration of Street Fighter Alpha, and every iteration of Street Fighter 3, all the way up from the original Street Fighter through Third Strike. And for people that are Street Fighter aficionados, this is something that's really cool because we're always complaining about what arcade perfect versions are out there, not only just for the competitive scene, but for all the people that just really want to enjoy the games that they loved growing up with. Playing any of the games in this collection is exactly as you remember. All of the sounds, visuals, and strategies you picked up back in the arcades is here and accounted for. Hardly anything is different with the games themselves, but the things surrounding them are what make this collection a great buy. Switching between games is super fast and easy, as well as getting into local multiplayer and training modes for some of the games. Not every title has a training mode, but the ones that are online enabled do so. The only gripes I have is that some of the options for visual filters and adjusting the difficulty in each game isn't always the best. Even putting the difficulty down all the way to easy doesn't feel like it does much for the AI in any of the games. While this could be due to some of the arcade ports or maybe something that needs to be patched later on, it's noteworthy to say the least. Other than that, these games are still great to play, regardless of your skill level. And for a lot of people out there, the Street Fighter series is really the cornerstone in the beginning of the competitive gaming scene, especially with Street Fighter 2 all the way through Third Strike and all the games that we got now. A lot of what you see now in modern esports, including MLG and a lot of the other organizations that are out there, really have the same type of, you know, scene, same type of values, and the same type of approach when it comes to competitive gaming and tournament play that you really saw with the beginnings of the fighting game community back in the day. This stuff is really homegrown and really kind of started in the arcade scene and has really exploded since the series first came out. But regardless though, there's a lot of other cool things about the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection that really puts a lot of other gaming collections and retro game kind of compositions to shame. The extra content in Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is fantastic. Not only are you getting a ton of concept art and design documents for every game included here, there's also a complete timeline that chronicles every major relief and spin-off in the series. Remember all those Street Fighter movies and live-action films? What about the promo material that published with Street Fighter 2 Turbo when it came out? Things like this are very cool to see, especially when a lot of the lesser-known aspects of the series get some time to shine. The coolest addition here, however, is the sprite gallery. It shows every character in the game and details a lot of their frame data for some of their most iconic special moves. It's things like this that accent collections and make them feel incredibly special. However, there are a few missing things that do stand out for those that have picked up earlier collections for the Street Fighter series. Unlike before, you don't have the Street Fighter 2 or Street Fighter Alpha animated movies as extras, which is a real shame. While the timeline acknowledges them, other Street Fighter collections had these as a bonus to watch. This isn't a huge deal, but it would have made a nearly perfect collection of extras even better. This collection is really a celebration of everything that is Street Fighter, even though not all the games that have ever come out are really included in this collection. 
I love all the different developer documents, I love all the pitch documents and all the extra music and promotional material that's been released throughout the years that we're finally getting in this one collection that we can finally see for the first time, especially if you were in an area that some of this stuff was never released. I also love that this collection also acknowledges some of the other Street Fighter related products and movies and other stuff in different forms of media that have come out throughout the years. Even though that you can't really see images of the Street Fighter movie or any of the other kind of like promotional stuff that came out, you know, in relation to some of those films, it's still cool to see the game actually acknowledge it, its existence rather than to actually just, you know, ignore it completely. However, for me, the one thing that I feel like was a big detriment and kind of like a missed opportunity was to include the Street Fighter 2 animated movie as well as the Street Fighter Alpha animated movies that previous collections of Street Fighter have included before. To me, it's just very confusing that other collections back all the way on the PlayStation 2 were able to conclude that little gem, which I think was pretty damn cool, but this one completely skips out over it. It would have been nice maybe to have it as an unlockable. Again, there's a lot of people out there that maybe haven't seen that Street Fighter 2 animated movie, which is probably credited as the best adaptation of the Street Fighter series into multimedia form, but also it's just something that is just a nice little easter egg for people that have stuck with the series for so long. Now of course we can't talk about Street Fighter at 30th Anniversary Collection without talking about probably the biggest aspect to this and one of the reasons a lot of people are picking this up and that's the online multiplayer. Street Fighter has always had a grounding in multiplayer throughout the years, and the online modes for Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection are where it's at. Only four of the games are online enabled, but they're the most updated versions of each era of the series. You have online lobbies, ranked battles, and even an arcade-like mode that has you matchmaking with others while you run through the arcade mode for a specific game. There are times when matchmaking with someone in ranked battles could take a little while, and there is some moments where there's a bad connection and lag in matches, which can make things pretty unplayable. However, the majority of your time playing in matches online will be incredibly smooth and responsive. There are options in the menu to tinker with the settings to compensate for the online lag, but I never found myself using them online. A cool thing is when the online lobbies allow you to shuffle the games for each match, making for a dynamic and exciting lobby for everyone involved. One match will be Super Turbo, the next could be Third Strike, or even Alpha 3 Max. It's a neat option that you seldom see from other games with multiple titles included. Overall, playing the collection online is pretty much enjoyable. There's a lot of different options in relation to online multiplayer and even local versus multiplayer that I feel like is very cool, especially since a lot of it has been pulled from more modern Street Fighter games. You have this ability to kind of play like an arcade style cabinet scene where you can have different people that get matched up to you online through matchmaking, but you're still playing through the arcade mode and it kind of emulates that style of just having another person come up to the arcade cabinet. Chances are, if you're picking up Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, you're probably picking it up because of the online multiplayer features. There's a lot of different stuff to play around with and I'm happy to report that all of this works really damn good. However, there is a couple little rocky things here and there, especially with some of the matchmaking and ranked battles. I feel like sometimes it can take a little bit long to get matched up with somebody else, especially somebody within the same ranking. In my experience, because I had it early before everybody else, it did take a while to get matched up with other players online, but as more people started to pick up the game, this was quickly remedied. And in addition to this, I think sometimes when there's a little bit of lag and there's kind of like, you know, connection issues, the game could sometimes really start it pretty badly, especially Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, as well as also Third Strike. Overall, I really like Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I think it's an awesome way to celebrate the franchise's legacy. I think they do a lot of great things right as far as giving value to longtime fans, as well as also presenting something new in one complete package for people that have never really dived into the Street Fighter franchise. For me, I think that a lot of other companies that are making compilations of retro games or classics that are put together in one package need to look at games like Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, as well as others that take a similar approach in order to kind of put together an awesome collection of games that might be iconic or classic, but still offers more stuff on top of the games that are presented. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is near perfect in the way that it presents everything, and I wish that there was maybe a couple little extra things here and there, but that's very nitpicky compared to all the great value and great stuff that we're getting in this game. If you haven't picked it up yet, again, you could get it on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or even on the Nintendo Switch. For me, I opted to get the PlayStation 4 version because I feel like there's going to be more people playing Street Fighter games online compared to the other versions that are out there. With that being said, those are my thoughts on the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. If you love Street Fighter, this is a near-perfect collection for you. If you never really dived into Street Fighter and you want an overview of the series, it doesn't get any better than this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Tell me 
what your guys' favorite Street Fighter game is, or your favorite Street Fighter character, or anything related to Street Fighter as a series, put it down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video as well, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my videos related to gaming, podcasts, interviews, event coverage, a whole bunch of stuff. There is a lot of content that I've been putting up weekly for all of you guys right now on the YouTube channel. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell notifications so you guys can be in the know whenever I'm putting up something new. And also, don't forget guys, I'm on Patreon. Big shout outs to Jasmine Russell for supporting me at the Beast tier at my Patreon page. You're getting shout outs for the entire month on every single video that goes up here on the channel. Check out the links down in the description box below because there's a whole bunch of rewards there for supporting me on Patreon. I really highly encourage you guys to do so. That way I could do big and better things for everybody here on the YouTube channel. Anyway, thank you a ton everybody for watching this video and checking out the channel. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic everybody. Hey, thanks a ton for watching this video review, everyone. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. It really means a lot to me. Make sure you guys leave a comment on this video, leave a like as well, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos just like this one. There's even more to love here on the side. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic everybody.